So I'm taking a look at a new BYD L DM. They're coming from the Han family, and this is a newly released car. It's not available for test drive yet, but I'm just going to do a quick walk around here so we can see what a new car brings to the market. So as you can see, it has a radar sensor down here, and if we go up, you have a camera and then this is in stages and now as you go further up you'll see your daytime running light in there and you got the ones on the left and on the right illuminated and up here you got your logo and there's an inlet here for air to go through not sure if you can see but if you look through here there's a radiator in there this is a hybrid version so there's a 1.5t engine you can also get this car in a full EV electric and the hybrid the battery in the hybrid alone can run for 200 kilometers on a full charge so that's already cool enough and I like this paint scheme the paint is really nice kind of like this green paint and if you look up there we got some cameras on the screen so these cameras will uh, help with the radar sensor driving there's a rate actually a radar sensor up there but for rain sensing and all other safety functions there are cameras on the screen for that and i like the new design of the bonnet it makes it look very very muscular and let me just move on to the left hand side so down here you have some air intakes here which will help with aerodynamics as you can see it's not fake will help with some aerodynamics and also help with cooling the discs and the brakes and if I move on to the left hand side you get a packing sensor right on the side of the tire which will help with um, parking or maneuvering this car in tight spots it's very good for especially new drivers and we go down here and as you can see the footwell comes with some nice carpet material which will help with some sound deadening and in there you get your suspension going on which is all which is really nice and I get a chance to show you the engine so that is a configuration of the engine looking really really nice the build of this engine looks there's no space for anything else looks really good and it rises with gas struts as well so you're not going to struggle to get it up I like the design of this engine it's just besides the fact that it's an it's just an engine it's also beautifully done which is really neat and you also got this sound deadening material here and BYD is on the run they're doing amazing things here in China but let's re return to the tires we have a 19 inch tire here and you get some nice beefy brake discs in there and a very big brake caliper painted in red all looking really really nice and if we move on to the side there's another camera here and a camera here and a camera here as well for your safety stuff and we move back and just like all BYDs there's some NFC here for entry but these days you can enter the car with your phone so it's not really an issue and if we come to the right driving mirror itself it looks quite conventional but there's a blind spot monitoring triangle here which is really cool it's not like one of those ones that the whole unit where the whole unit swivels this one is uh is a traditional style but it looks really nicely well done and we go down here you got your framed doors doors feel really good you got this pop out style door handles which is really nice and down here on the side you have these plastic panels which look of very high quality and as you can see the the seals on the door are really thick and so there's gonna be it's gonna stop a lot of wind from getting in the car so it's gonna be generally very very comfortable and if we look up here we have a roof glass roof that can be open so that's really nice when a lot of EVs or electric cars are not allowing their windows to be open this one at least allows you to open the roof so that's a really nice thing and as you can see the windows in the driver's side they are tinted but not that dark but it, as you go to the rear it gets darker you can still see through a little bit but it's just the right amount of tint that has been put on there and as you move on to the back 
it's been widened the body has been widened to give you that muscular muscular look and feel and the doors open really nicely and they shut really nicely very very firm to them and you have you got your brake on the brakes on the rear also the calipers here painted in red got a nice disc there of course the front is the main brake so it's got a bigger brake disc and you got 19 inch rims here as well and you got your so this car takes 92 run for your gas which is really nice and we go on to the back and look at the design of the rear lights it's like byd technology that's really nice they don't just slap on some boring lights there they make it make it look really really nice um, some nice detail panel in here and we go on to the rear and as you can see the rear looks really nice as well it's this layered sort of design you get your byd badging right here and you get this light bar going across from the left to the right and then we go down here and as you can see probably 3.9 seconds uh initial speed bite so that's really nice and we come up here you have your rear window which is blacked out as well you can actually see through but maybe it's not as clear on the camera but it's just got the right amount of tints that's what i'll say and then you got a camera up there as well i believe it's integrated with the radio antenna nicely done and as we move on to the right side of the vehicle, it will be very similar to what we've seen on the right. And then we come to the charging department. So you get your ports for quick charge and slow charge. And this is a car that has just come out from BYD. And this car will charge 400, it will give you a range of 400 kilometers in five minutes. That's how crazy this is. So I'm told these this charger will be available at special stations which they have started installing so if you go to any regular charger it's going to be the same amount of time but if you go to the BYD chargers you can get 400 kilometers of range in five minutes and this is really mind-blowing so yeah if we move on to the right side it's just going to be similar to what we've seen on the left side overall I like the design of this car it's really really beautiful so we're taking a look at the boot it's a very nice uh rear i like the rear of this vehicle and if we look at the boot it's not a hatchback it's a normal sedan open but it's all lined with felt really really nicely and you can actually set your uh, boot lid height and if we look down here into the boot itself it's quite low because it's a sedan it's a salon car and as you can see the boot state boot space is cavernous i would say it's almost the size of that of a escoda octavia and if you look in here you have another speaker grill here which is the subwoofer from diana audio and if we look down here uh, not much space left you just have uh, this toolbar and then you have a tire repair kit as well so nothing else will fit down there but there is a a bag here where BYD self provides you with some uh, uh, multi sockets extensions and also other charging stuff. So this one you can use to connect to the car to pull power from the car to to power some other devices like household appliances when you're camping or things like that. So it's really nice to know that they provide this and there's a nice space there where you can tack it as well. So all looking really, really nice. So if I just shut the boot. It goes down relatively fast as well and if you look down here it has a very nice and clean build and the clearance is good as well um, I like the design so stepping in the back seat I'm 183 centimeters tall so as you can see the front seat is configured to my driving comfortable driving position actually it was still way back I could move a little bit forward but when I sit inside you see that I have still have a lot of room in here and then you have a button here for your uh, window controls and there's a space here that's really nice and there's a, a lever here for opening the door you get some ambient light in here which is changing colors and the same 
oh, wood yeah. effect material that was in the front carries on in the back. Maybe I should go to the other side. You can see it better on this side as well. And you have some extra controls here for the rear passengers. So you get your vents, air vents here, and you get some display a display here to show you your controls. All really nice. This is a four wheel drive vehicle, but the floor in front of the middle seat is almost flat. So passengers are not going to be struggling for space in the back here. And you look at this, something very interesting, the headrest for the rear seats, the middle, the headrest for the middle seats can be reclined, can be pulled down by pressing that button and you can just raise it up by pulling it up. So that's really nice and it feels very good as well. And in the middle, you can pull this down and when you pull this down, you have extra storage area here. You have a type C port and a type A charging port right there and it's lined with felt so it feels really good and things are not going to be making noise when you drum them in there. And there is an extra screen here for the rear passengers to control their heating and all other functions in the car. So they've just changed the controls to Chinese, but as you can see with the symbols, you can do a lot of controls here in the back as well. Music, seating, a fan, music seating, fan settings, and all that kind of thing. Very few cars will have this uh, at this price point. So that's really nice to see. And there's a through load here into the boot so you can reach in to grab things that you want to have um, whilst the car is in motion you don't have to stop to go to the boot to be able to do that and up there you got a speaker grill there and another speaker grill there and the boot lid here is really really nice feels rice with some nice material and up here is all made of some nice very soft material and although the roof the glass roof doesn't go all the way to the back. It goes almost to the feet of the rear passengers. And so you can open it up, unlike um, other cars that are not openable. This is the hybrid version. You can also get the full electric version. So taking a look at the interior. So you have the steering wheel right here. Let me just move back a little bit. So if I step back a little, move my seat back a little, you see the steering. And you get a screen here for the driver and also has um, a map, doubles as a map and all the information needed by the driver. There's a sensor here for monitoring the driver's tiredness and all that. You can actually cover it. And if we look down here on the steering wheel, there is a lever here for your, your turn signal and your wipers. And on the right hand side, there's a stock here for your gear changes and it has autonomous driving as well and on the steering wheel you have traditional um, almost round steering wheel and is a pure BYD car the design language is mostly BYD you have your shortcut buttons here at least they are not so touch sensitive they are real buttons so that's really cool and you can see some ambient lighting in there all done really nicely I like the interior of this vehicle this is speaker grill up there and if you look in front where my finger is pointing there is an HUD it might not be as clear on the screen but it's very very crisp I can guarantee that and then we look on the right we have your main infotainment screen which comes with a lot of information and as you can see it has English uh, on it as well Either two Chinese cars didn't have English language or other languages but now at least you would have English in most of their cars and it comes with so many functions and over here you have your air vents um, coming out really nicely with some nice inserts here and there's a 50 watt wireless charging pad here on the left and on the right you have another area where you can rest another phone and down here we have uh, again shortcut button so you have got a hazard one hazard button here auto park um, EV HEV switchable button and in the middle here there is a cup holder two cup holders actually and interestingly there is a fridge here so when i open this central part there is a fridge here which allows you to um, include 
to freeze or warm up a lot of things in here and you got you can actually turn it on so it's cooled and when you press it goes to the heated function as well so you can do whatever you want to do in terms of temperature and it has this very open concept design and i like the material that has been used it's kind of like not sure if it's plastic but it's some kind of wood uh, effect which is really nice you got a speaker grill up there and another one here which is dyna audio very very uh, good sounding speakers and the driver's seat is very comfortable and if you look on the uh, passenger seat you'll see how it's configured really really nicely and then if we look down here you see speaker grill there uh, a button for opening your boot and then you also have all the controls for the driver speaker grill here and a conventional lever for opening your door so that's really nice and there's a lot of nice soft material Napa leather all around the vehicle it's got this wrap around feel to it which is really nice and then you have a rear view mirror up here and you also have some internal lighting in here as well and all your buttons for controlling your panoramic sunroof and up here you have a glasses holder which is lined with felt so it's going to be really nice for keeping things from rattling about and then you also have your vanity mirror right here so that's really nice you have a button here for controlling the passing the front passenger seat for moving forward and back reclining that sort of thing so that's really nice so by this time it is very clear knowledge that byd is killing it right now in the auto industry challenging the big boys out there what am i saying it's already a big boy in the automatic market take it or leave it byd is making amazing cars going all around the world now what makes this newly released one amazing is the speed of the charging so like i mentioned earlier charging this car for five minutes at byd designated charging stations will give you a range of 400 kilometers that's really really insane and this car comes in two forms you got a hybrid one and you've got a pure electric one so with the hybrid it has a total range of both gas and electric combined of about 1000 kilometers and on battery power alone you can go 200 200 kilometers so yeah that's it for the new byd hand uh, that has just been newly released i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such content so i see you in the next video guys right legal right safe always peace and I'm out.